Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey. And this is the fifth in the series of a Space Side 2018 festival release here from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. And today I get to try the, um, the eight year old Lafroig Weaving Wondrous Dreams. This is bottle 29.244 and it's bottled at 62.7% ABV. Distilled on the 22nd of January 2009 and matured in an ex-bourbon refill barrel. So I'm not be the best fan of Lafroy, but yet I'm going to try this. And I'm sure that many of you that love Lafroy would be absolutely excited to have this sample here. Now the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society were so nice to send me this nice little sample box. I'm so nice to have a few videos and talk about them and try to promote them. So take a look at my link down below. Click on that and you can actually go to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, become a member, um, become a member, have a secret surprise bottle sent to you as well. Um, become a member, have a nice set with a tasting book and all that, or just buy a bottle. And that's also a very, very important thing. So the first thing that I get here is that typical Lafroy, that iodine, that medicinal note. Um, but I also get a tiny little bit of a pine tree. Now, I could read what everything they said in this card, and there's like a dozen different things they found in here. They found Hubba Bubba, and they found Black Jacks, and they found Creme Boulet, and they found um, Roofing Cold Tar Pitch, and they found a lot of other things. Um, un they have smoked perfumed with lemons and violets and vanilla. I don't have any of that. I'm sure the experts can get that, but I'm not an expert on peated whiskeys. I get pine tree. I get a little bit of a um, campfire. And I get a little bit of that medicinal moment. All right, let's take a look. Try it. Now, first of all, the 62.2% is relatively strong. And then that medicinal note really, really kicks in. They describe it as um, Marmite. I've been to England and I have a friend of mine. She loves Marmite, even though she's from Germany. I'm not a fan of it. And my sons hate it. And this yeast extract thing on your bread is really something you either love or you hate. I think the Freud is one of those things you love or you hate as well. And there's a lot of fans out there. So this is a very, very, very nice distillery where everyone just kind of goes, wow, well done, gentlemen. For an eight-year-old, I've always been told that the peated whiskeys do not have to be that old. They need to have a little bit of a bite, a kick in them. An eight-year-old might actually be a sweet spot for the cast strength Lafroigs. Weaving Wondrous Dreams. I love that name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. With a little bit of water, actually, it's much, much better in my personal opinion. But that just might be because I'm not trained enough to appreciate the cast strength experience. Now, the um, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society calls themselves a club, unlike any others. And their mission is to provide our members with an uh, adventurous and fun journey of discovering the world's um, widest collection of single cask whiskeys. Now, they have 16, I'm sorry, they have 12, I have to get this right, 12 different flavor profiles. Spicy and dry, I had one of those. They have the deep, rich, and dried fruits. Oh, I love one of those. They have old and dignified. <laughs> I just taste that old leather already. Young and spiritly. Mm, not sure about that. Sweet, fruity, and mellow. I, I actually like that one. Spicy and sweet. Mmm. Light and delicate. That's going to be your link wood, for example. Juicy oak and vanilla. Sounds like something from bourbon country. Oily and coastal. That was my Bunahabi, my favorite of all those five. Lightly peated. Hmm. Peated. Hmm. Heavily peated. Not my cup of tea. All right. So personally from the five, I would have to rank them in the following manner. Um, the Bunahabi actually won. 
There, after that, came um, the Glenn Grant. A very, very nice addition. 21-year-old Glenn Grant, by the way. After that came the Glenn Alecky. I liked it, but um, compared to the other two, sorry. Then I had the um, Baumor 20, and then finally the, the Freud 8-year-old. Has to do with I'm not a big Pete fan. All right, very, very good. So Scott Malt Whiskey Society. One of the best... Um, places for cast strength whiskey they have an amazing um, selection of all these different bottles from some even from america with a b in front of them bourbons mostly though from um scotland and if you take a look at the first number you just type in smws someplace in the internet and say code and you type in the number it'll tell exactly what distillery that is 29 is lafroy and then the dot and then the number is the how many casks have they filled up in the entire lifetime of this of the society? And in this case, they've actually filled up 200, or they bottled 244 different barrels of Lefroy so far. All right, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and tell others about this crazy American over here in Germany tasting exotic and rare whiskey, including things from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Link down below. Thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye-bye.